Okay, so I'm just back from the beach. It's 30 degrees outside, 5 o'clock, time for a drink. Uh, wine? <sighs> Not tonight. I, you know, sometimes I really want something that has a little bit more bite to it. Now, um... I'm not a huge cocktail guy, and I know with all the hipster crowd out there, that's not going to make me very popular, but um, there is one drink that I really do like, and especially when it's really hot, um, that's a mojito. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect mojito. It's easy. All you really need, the only special equipment is this, a muddler. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, you ready? I'm going to go out of screen a little bit here because I want you to watch what's going on. So what you need is... Half line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up into four pieces, right like there. I'm going to drop it in the glass. Then, two heaping teaspoons of sugar. I don't like too much heap in my heaping because I don't mind it a little bit sour. Take your muddler. And what you got to do is you got to squeeze it. You see it? What you're doing is you're releasing all the juice from the lime as well as a little bit of the bitterness from the peel. Okay, that's looking good. Next step is mint. Okay, now you don't muddle the mint. My buddy David Schmidt, who taught me how to do this, said what happens is that you release all the bitterness in the leaves. What you want to do is take a leaf and spank it three times because what that does is it releases the oils of the mint and that's what you really want so put that in there I've got ten leaves that have been pre-spanked because I don't want to sit here and have you watch me do that um, then I'm going to take a little bit of ice there we go Sometimes they don't really come out as fast as you want. White rum. Okay. Yeah, around I don't know, an ounce and a half, whatever that is in milliliters. I like this much, but again, do as you wish. Now, stir it up. And add soda. And there you have it. Mm. I might need two. See ya.